Hello there, I'm Mike and welcome to Theme Park 101. Today, we have another very special attraction guide for the awesome Playa Maya Water Park in Wuhan, China. I have recently moved back to the UK with my family, but have lived in Wuhan for the last 12 years and wanted to make one more guide for the great water park that we frequently visited during the hot summer months. It's next door to Happy Valley Wuhan, making a great combo of parks for us to visit throughout the year. Don't forget to stick around until the end of the video for for my hot tips for visiting this great water park. Playa Maya has an overall Mayan theme with over 40 different slides and attractions that ranges from jaw-dropping drop slides and fun play areas for the younger visitors. It first opened in 2012 alongside Happy Valley Wuhan with additions added throughout the years including a major expansion in 2017. In 2020 it became semi-famous through various international news outlets for being a symbol of the opening of Covid lockdowns and has been rapidly gaining popularity across the country ever since. You enter the park by walking through the Grand Maya Hotel that offers awesome views of the park. Near the entrance, you will find a shop selling towels and a selection of swimwear, and next door is the huge changing areas that include showers and locker rentals. Opposite is where you can rent one, two, and three-man tube rafts, which can be used in the lazy river and wave pools. They cost between 30 and 50 RMB, which is around five to eight dollars, plus a small deposit. As they can't be used on all of the attractions, there are areas around the park that you can leave them with an employee and grab them when needed. I will divide the park up into three different sections, beginning with the main area near the entrance of the park. If you take a right after the changing area, you will first come to the major vertical body slides that are definitely the most thrilling in the whole of Playa Maya. You can choose from the two standard red drop slides called Speedway, or try out either of the grey slides called Super Loop that both start with drops before ending in a spiral spiraling tube section. Next up is the huge wave pool that is the central feature of the park. It stays fairly busy throughout the day with many guests enjoying the cooler temperature in the water and using their rafts to stay afloat. There is no need to worry as you can use the various life jackets for free and there are many lifeguards on duty throughout the pool, so you always feel safe. As Wuhan stays hot into the evenings and throughout the night, there is a huge stage next to the wave pool that hosts various types of entertainment until the park closes at 10pm. On the far side of the wave pool is a cut off smaller section that creates even bigger waves for those that enjoy the thrill. Next door is the fun multi-lane racing mat slides where you can race up to 8 riders as you speed down the beginning enclosed tube section before shooting outside for a photo finish. Opposite are two types of funnel raft rides called Super Horn and Super Tornado. You will ride on 4 man rafts as you travel down these fun and exciting slides that are perfect for all the family to enjoy enjoy. The younger ones will love the kids slide pool that includes a mini funnel slide and 9 other various kiddie friendly slides which they can enjoy again and again. They all exit into a huge shallow pool with lots of seating areas and water play features. The final attraction in this first section is Mayan Atlantis, a huge structure that features lots of slides, water features and a huge bucket that soaks guests throughout the day. We now head over the bridge to the next area, which is a great vantage point for the next attraction, the Lazy River. This fun, relaxing adventure circles the whole of this second section with four different exits and entrances throughout the land. There are lots of different fountains and water cannons along the layout, giving plenty of chances to get wet throughout your ride, and a small wave section that is great fun to traverse through. Next up is 4WD Lost City, which is a selection of four different inner tube slides for single or double riders. The slides include mini funnels, a bowl, enclosed and open tube layouts, all ending in the splashdown pool, which offers a nice variety of exciting attractions. Opposite is Family Aqua Play, another area perfect for the little ones to enjoy. A shallow pool is filled with lots of fun interactive water features, including fountains, buckets, and many more. The center play structure has five small slides to choose from, giving a great choice for the kids. Next are the group inner tube slides that can take up to six riders. You can choose between Caribbean Surfing and Deep Sea Python that both include enclosed tubes and half pipes, making it great thrilling fun for everyone. Moving further into the second section, we come to two different water coasters called the Magnetic Hornets. Two riders sit inside a small raft as they are shot up and down the fun 
courses. The final two attractions in this second section are the four-man raft slides. Behemoth Bowl shoots riders into a huge bowl before dropping into the splash pool, and Cyclone Waves spins riders down a fun and windy course before ending in the same splash pool. We now head over to the final section of the park called Forest Adventure, which was the extension that was added in 2017. You will need to cross over the bridge of the natural habitat of the nearby East Lake before coming to a small themed splash pad. Kids will love playing with the various fountains and water spouts along with the cute characters on display. On the far left end of Forest Adventure is the Mayan Water Castle. This is a two-story rope course that presents various challenges as brave guests try to traverse a slippery and wet adventure course that features lots of fountains, dumping buckets and more. Surrounding the castle are many water cannons for other guests to shoot the adventurers, making it fun for everyone. Next up is the Crocodile Pool, which is a little deeper than the others within the park that includes lots of water play features and a load of plastic balls to interact with. Further along is the big covered splash pad that is home to a huge selection of interactive fountains, spraying water discs, water cannons and dumping buckets, making it perfect for friends and family to battle it out. Nearby is the Whale Sand Pool, which is a nicely sized covered sand pit that has the fun hands-on river play course that kids could play for hours. Next is the Mysterious Temple Maze, a fun water maze that has lots of hidden doors, treasure, water fountains, a waterfall, and lots of places to explore. At the end, you have a chance to communicate with the frog god and shoot water guns at the various targets. We now head to Rainforest World, that is a number of connected circle pools that include massive massaging water jets and is usually quieter than the other areas of the park, making it a great place to relax. We now come to the final attraction in Playa Maya, which is the huge volcano pool. It includes a fun set of smaller slides, a mini rafting course that takes you on a small adventure into a hidden cave within the volcano. Wrapping around is another enclosed slide, and this is also the location where the park hosts a number of different shows, including a diving performance and a unique mermaid show. This is one of my favorite areas within the park. So that wraps up all the slides and attractions in Playa Maya Water Park. My hot tips include arriving to the park with your swimming clothes already on to save time changing. I rarely use a locker as each attraction has a special area to keep shoes and towels and consider purchasing a waterproof phone bag online as it will be much cheaper than buying it in the nearby shops. There is a small selection of food options within the park but just outside are many more choices including pizza, hot pot, barbecue and a number of convenience stores. The park is open throughout the summer with many special events during weekends that includes unique shows and live performances. If you do live in Wuhan I would recommend recommend buying a combo pass that includes all year entry to Happy Valley Wuhan and unlimited access to Playa Maya Water Park and only costs around £64 or $84. I hope you enjoyed the video and if you'd like to help support the channel then consider subscribing for free or joining as a member for exclusive early access to videos and other exciting perks. Also let me know what other theme parks you would like me to cover in a comment down below. If you want to know more about the park next door, Happy Valley Wuhan, then check out this guy video here. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time on Theme Park 101.